Good afternoon. I am loud. <laughs> and when I get started, look out. <laughs> so I know you're at that th almost at 3 o'clock moment, right? And usually for me in my day, 3 o'clock means more coffee. <laughs> Some of you are like, no, not me. No, me. I am now 44. I'm feeling it. <laughs> My wife's still in denial. She thinks she's 25, but God help her. Anyway, <laughs> I would be in jail then, right? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I was quite surprised when I heard that I was going to be a part of the TEDx a conversation in this area of mentoring high school students. Now, I've been mentoring students for 20 years. 20 years I've been mentoring students, and it's been a phenomenal learning experience every year I have lived. And I noticed one thing. Kids teach me more about myself than I teach them. Isn't that amazing? I keep learning about all who I am rather than trying to teach them everything what I know. It's pretty deep, isn't it? Now, you're going to learn that word today. You're going to say, that's deep. Now, let's start right now. There you go. That's my word. Don't be afraid. <laughs> so I'm really excited because I'm going to make sure that there's a promise of no preaching. <laughs> I've never known a pastor not to do that. No, anyway, <laughs> But it's all good. So I'm not going to preach to you. And this is the first thing I share with kids. Let me tell you something. Students do not want to be what? preach that okay they don't want to be preached to why because they're already being told over and over again of things they're not doing interesting they don't want to be preached at because they're tired of the finger pointing they're looking for someone to have a what a conversation exactly see kids want to have a conversation and they want to talk about stuff in their life but most of all they want to hear what's going on in your See, there's this problem in, 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 our, in America, and I really believe in this generation. There's a problem called abandonment. This generation has been abandoned. Why? It's, it's real simple. I don't have to give you st st uh, all the stats and everything. All I have to do is do this. We're too busy. Isn't that something? We have a generation that's too busy. We have our smartphones. We have our uh, tablets now and our iPads, and, and life keeps going. We don't know what it is to turn off stuff. You got it. Yes, yeah, deep. <laughs> so, so, so I really want to help you understand with this whole element of abandonment, it's something called time. See, the most precious thing you have is your what? Is your time. And that's what they want and that's what they need. I was driving and put myself to the test. Yes, this test called accountability to my, two of my sons. And I remember my nine-year-old at the time when we were, I was driving them to school. And I said, hey, guys, tell me how you know dad loves you. Just how do you know that I love you so much? And my nine-year-old spoke up right away. He did not pause. He did not, have, he did not sit down and contemplate or meditate. He just outright spoke up and just said, because you spend time with us. Now that's deep. A nine-year-old has the concept of time and the importance of it and the value of it. See, that's deep to me. The question is, do we as an older generation know that concept and how to give it away? Or basically, how to use it wisely? Interesting. Because your legacy is the most important thing that is, you can put into somebody. And it's called the younger Jenner. And guess what? They're all here. The older generation is here to put legacy into the younger generation. You're looking and saying, who, me? Not me. I'm like, yes, yes, you. And you see young people all the... Now that's deep. But some of you think, well, I'll, that's not me. I don't want to do that. Yes. And, all, and it, it can happen even when you check them out. It can happen when you just go through the research process or starting up a computer of just asking a good what? Question. Just to ignite a conversation. Oh, shut up. Y'all are getting this. This is deep. Oh, we're on our way. All right. Imagine every kid in West Michigan sharing their life, right? Sharing their life with a mentor or a what? That's what I call a mentor. I call them challengers. Nice. Because I know the relationships that I had through the years, these young protégés were just 
always being challenged by life. Well, I had to turn around and challenge them also to make the right choices. You see? Choices that are going to affect them for the rest of their lives. That's what high school students are doing right now. They're making decisions and choices, and they'll reap what they sow if they don't use something called wisdom. But wisdom is not something that is divinely given. Wisdom is something that is learned or taught or modeled. Oh, that's deep. Are y'all getting this? Is this good? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> All right, so here's the thing. Every student has a what? Has a what? A dream or a revelation. It's given to them. I remember I had many of them. I don't know if it was, if I was ADD, but I, I had many what? Dreams. And I had revelations. You're like, what? Yeah, something that was inspiring that just came to my mind and said, I want to do this or I'm going to do that or I want to do this or I want to do that. See, I don't have to tell students what to do. They already know what they want to do. The question is, is who's going to, are you ready? Influence them. Well, you're saying, well, that's really small. I can't read that. I made that for a reason. It's not your business. <laughs> Isn't that deep? It's not your business. Because you know what? These people accomplished what they saw when I came into their presence called opportunity. You're helping me finish the sentence, right? All right? <laughs> I'm not going to bite you. There's no quiz, no test. <laughs> See, these people had an influence on in my life, and they gave me key things that I needed to accomplish my dream, to accomplish my revelation. And I believe some of you, most of you, all of you, will help the students walking in the libraries do that. Oh, now that's deep. You're saying, no way, way. <laughs> well, you could be an influencer. And I do it by something called VIP. And I'm going to give it to you today. VIP, it's not a very important person either. It's something else. It's called vision and what? And, say it again. Vision, initiatives, permission. You're going to be blown away. And I'm not going to take a lot of time. So you know I'm not a Pentecostal guy now. <laughs> that was a joke for those that are religious. <laughs> this is the why factor. you got to give students a what? A vision for having a, or coach challenger for every chapter in there? Interesting. The problem is a lot of you did not have that. You were told to stand up on your own what? Two feet. Make a place in life for your... <laughs> Have we heard this before? That's a bold-faced lie. And that is something that is terrible for us to put into children today. To say you've got to stand on your own too. You've got to do it on your... No, we need community. We need connection. We need relationships. We are designed for relationships. Wouldn't you agree? Interesting. We should, be living, we should be sharing with young people, you need someone to walk with you in your journey. You need someone to stand with you and go down the path. And then that, when, when that path ends, then someone else will come along. Or will they? But give them that vision. Give them that understanding. Never what? Never walk alone. But a lot of us do that. And a lot of us never accomplish our dreams or our goals or our initiatives or our objectives because we continue to walk what? To let other people pour into us, to let other people, here it is, challenge you, hold you accountable. See, I'm, come on. <laughs> Spit it out, girl. <laughs> Are you with me? See, these are the things that we shy away from and we don't want anyone to get in our biscuits. <laughs> He's like, leave my biscuits alone. <laughs> yeah. 
Interesting. All right. This is, <laughs> this is the how factor. See, young, give young people some what? For having a what? Or challenger in their... You've got to give them initiatives. Well, some of you are saying, well, what's that? Well, let me help you out. Help them to assess or think what? See, here's the thing. If a student says, and I challenge students, and I had even some talks with older people, but if a student looks at me and says, I want to be a lawyer, then why are you going to hook them up with a guy that uh, is a maintenance person or is in automotive? Interesting, isn't it? You know, I had a young, I, 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 the uh, attorney at Spartan Foods, him and I had a really good conversation. We're good associates here. And as we begin to talk, I said to him, I said, what if a student came up to you and they said to you, I really, really have been admiring you. I've been watching you and I've been looking at you. And I see that you're the attorney of this big food distri uh, uh, distribution. And all of a sudden he says, or she says, here it is, would you mentor me? Would you challenge me? Would you be a coach to me and help me understand to get to the process of being a lawyer because I'm a law student? He said, JR, I would be shocked. I would be totally blown away. I said, let's go, let's get really deep. I said, what if they came up to you and they had a plan in their hand? He said, now I'm really messed up. Isn't that deep? What if every student in West Michigan could do that? What if every student knew how to take the initiative to find a challenger? See, kids are falling between the cracks too fast. We can't partner up with them. We can't, come on, come on, girl, come on. We can't. We, no, no, oh, I forgot one more. Come on. <laughs> All right. See, the, the problem is, is we can't move fast enough to do this. To, to, <laughs> to bridge them to what? Together. We stay together. See, how look at this. This is sad. <laughs> well, I didn't say hug, but I mean, <laughs> you're not going to hug students that fast. Anyway, <laughs> but no, no, where are you going? <laughs> so what happens is we, we're trying to be the bridge and bridge people together, right? We're trying to bring younger and older together, which is very important. Because of the deep wisdom that's in the older people that need to get to the younger people. And see, those are the treasures. The older people have to, re they, they can't retire down in Florida and because they're taking their treasures and they're going and they're burying it in Florida. Rather than, isn't that deep? Where's your treasure? Four. <laughs> He's on the ninth hole. <laughs> Oh, shut up, JR. Anyway, <laughs> so now the treasure needs to be invested in the bank account of a young person. See? Are you, are you with me? Oh, yeah. Okay, so, <laughs> so if she is the older and she is the younger, <laughs> bridge them together and now give them the initiative to say, take her out for coffee or, you know, go have a burger. Isn't that great? I didn't mean to hit your high knee. I'm sorry. <laughs> Give him a hand. He did a good job. Now, <laughs> so here's the thing. We want them to assess properly how to go about finding a challenger. We want to help them think critically on who, who, where's your vocation? Where, where, where's your profession? Where do you want to go? Interesting. We also want them to think critically in the area of saying, make sure that the person that you choose, it has good chemistry. Make sure they're not in it for themselves. Interesting. That's deep, isn't it? We also want to help them to act or what? Yes. See, why are we trying to chase kids? Don't. I tried it. It doesn't work. You get tired. I, did I just say tired? I, I, you would think I'm from the South. <laughs> tired. <laughs> oh, shut up. Anyway. <laughs> so to, to act or take what? Charge. Do it. You can do this, young people. But here's the problem. The problem is they think they can't do it. Because we have to give them what? 
Yes, this is the win factor. Now, now, give students permission to go on the pursuit for their mentors or challengers. Who are your prospects? Help them. Help them. You can do that. Did you know that? That doesn't take that long. You ever just think and say, if I said to a student, um, so what's your plans? So I've seen you been coming in here for 10 years now. You've got to be graduating sometime soon, honey. Right? And all of a sudden you say, so what's your plans? So they start sharing their plans with you. Why? They know you. You've been hanging out with them, checking their books out for how many years? Shut up. Are you with me? See, isn't this, it's, like, it's like you're getting back to something that is really old. This is nothing new. I'm just breaking some simplistic things down. Just think if you had someone pushing you like this. Just think if someone gave you a vision to say, don't walk alone. Just think if someone would have sat down with you for 10 minutes and gave you some simple initiatives. Think how it would not have been a, so alone when you're on your campus or when you're alone in that time in your life. It's deep. We need one a another. And the young people are screaming that they need you now. But the thing is, I can't get the older generation to move fast enough. We wonder why. <laughs> but it's okay, you have your busy lives too, and that's okay. So we got to tell them this, how to give them permission to go on the pursuit, how to charge ahead. You know what I do? I go into the high schools, and I have the gym teacher start running around the gym, one minute. And not only do I have him run around the gym, I tell the student, I pick a student out of the audience to stand up and chase the teacher. And you should see them. They're going. And eventually they catch them. Now I say, tackle them. <laughs> and they do. If we could get determination, if we could get kids to have that kind of determination to chase their challenges. Isn't that something? Wow. When they get to their challengers, which is you, what can you do? Your greatest influence is your personal stories. Stories never what? Folks, if you just share your stories, students have a plan, but can you help them work out the plan? Students have dreams and revelations, but just help them walk it out. But in the process, just share your stories. Be vulnerable. Because they need to know solutions, how you got out of that. Make sense? Thank you very much. It was a nice day. Nice being with you.